If you're in love with keyboards and Legos and your funds have always been split between these two beloved hobbies, this next product might be the thing for you. This is the Melgeek Pixel, a mechanical keyboard that's compatible with Lego. Hey guys, it's me Merlin, your keyboard wizard covering the latest and greatest in the keyboard world. And today we are reviewing a very unique keyboard. Some quick specs. The Pixel is a gasket mounted standard layout TKL with thick bezels, wireless and wired options, indicator LEDs, RGB underglow, programmable with KBD tools, hot swappable with your choice of MX switches. They actually even have plate foam, which is quite a surprise for a board like this. And of course, the biggest and most obvious feature of this board is that it's compatible with LEGO. The board comes with a lot of different pieces you can use to decorate your board. If you need some design ideas or inspiration, there's geeknate.com where you can peruse a ton of great designs. There are three connectivity options, wired, Bluetooth, and wireless with a dongle, which they have a very nice compartment built into the keyboard. The only problem is, it seems that my dongle is missing, but here are pictures of what it's supposed to look like. Out of the three available colorways, I was sent canvas, which in my opinion is the most generic of the three, giving you a base palette to build your designs on. Out of the five switches available, I was sent the KL Custom L switch. L for linear, I assume. These are actually very smooth with no audible spring ping, crunch, or scratchiness. I wish these were more widely available because I definitely used them in a different custom build. The Pixel is also a zero degree typing angle board, but since even the back is LEGO compatible, with the right parts you can make any kind of feet you want. In the box they do include silicon pads so that you can attach them to the bricks. The keycaps are the MLG profile, which I assume stands for Melgi and is actually a type of re-legendable keycap. The top plastic piece separates from the Lego bottom piece and you're able to put whatever you want in here. The keycap itself is very large, so when you type, it's almost like you're putting your fingers into holes and it does slow down my typing speed and destroys my accuracy. Aesthetically, you probably don't want to put this on anything other than the pixel because it would just look too weird. Paired with the zero degree typing angle, typing on this MLG profile is absolutely terrible for accuracy. I highly recommend adding the feet. So I've got a Lego keyboard, but I don't really have any Legos. I'm not really an avid collector. So let's go out and get some. I'm a big fan of the Mandalorian series, so I think these would fit just perfect on my board. This is the way. See, just perfect. In the past, the community has come up with various Lego inspired designs for the keyboard chassis, but none of them ever really looked good. This is the first keyboard that has gotten it to work aesthetically and functionally. My only real gripe with this board is that it's pretty difficult to type on unless you raise the typing angle a bit. And even then, it's still not as comfortable as typing on a familiar profile such as Cherry. The gasket mount does make the typing experience feel quite good, but the MLG profile reduces your accuracy, most especially if you type fast. You could change out the keycaps, but then the MLG profile keycaps just look so good on this that it doesn't make sense to swap them out. So these are the pixel keycaps on the Rook Design Chapter 1. What do you think? Post down in the comments if you think this is a look that you would rock. I was also curious what Cherry Profile would look on the pixel. And I think it looks fabulous. These are PBT Cherry Profiles that I received during the Grand Lasson event while I was in the Philippines. I think this looks great and is much more comfortable to type on for me. Overall, this is a fun board to own. I love how you can literally customize the aesthetics in as many ways as there are LEGO sets. 
Those of you who already have an extensive LEGO collection will have so much fun with this board. I guarantee that your creativity is the limit when it comes to this. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you liked this review and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.